-hmm. What's your uh, what's your next one? So the next one um, is not often seen either and that's where an investor has purchased a unit they've put a renter in that unit and someone comes along and they say i really want that unit it's a great corner suite i want that one and i'm going to pay you a premium for that and the individual or the investor is like great let's sell it little known fact is if you sell it within one year of holding title to that unit you will be required to repay any rebate that you've received. Wow. Okay. Because sometimes that happens, right? The condo's gone up in value. They figure let's cash in, right? Yeah. It's taken two or three years to construct. And so if they were early in and got a really good price, three years down the road, it's sought after. Yeah, absolutely. So the one exception to that rule, though, is unless you sell it to the person renting it. The person renting it wants to buy it. You don't have the same one year hold. Okay, that's that's good to know because sometimes you do. You're right. Two or three years goes by. You put the offer in. Um, you get maybe occupancy halfway through. Um, now all of a sudden, you know, the renter wants it. I mean, you can kind of save on a lot of things doing it that way, right? So, um, yeah. Okay, I can see where that is. And then your third one. So the the third one is. Um, we've come across periodically and there's a lot of court cases around this and that's where someone wants to um, purchase a condominium unit they enter into a purchase and sale agreement before it closes uh, the bank says you know we don't feel comfortable giving you the loan on your own so we need someone else to sign to be a co-signer uh, and that's fine as long as it's a related person and related person is defined in the income tax. So parent, grandparent, or sibling. Anything beyond that, um, you will lose the rebate application. Okay, so we're talking like uncle, aunt, um, cousin. A cousin five times removed. That's just not quite family. It has to be more immediate than that then. Absolutely. Okay, yes. that's good to know. Now, and having said that, it should go off in a different direction. Really, people need to understand then what their bank approval looks like up front to avoid that sort of possible scenario. Um, mm -hmm. That's really important when you have a long closing, um, but also understanding to what, you know, quote, related means from a legal standpoint. So, Absolutely. Yeah. There's a lot of tax implications when buying a condo and you need to get proper advice before you make any snap decisions. Love it. And, and that right there, you just captured that whole thing, you know, getting the right advice, asking questions. Um, I know your team at BDO is amazing. Um, I always, you know, love having clients talk with you guys to make sure that, you know, everything is, uh, is good for them and they're making the right choices. So Scott, thank you so much. It's been great having you. You definitely know your stuff. You talked about stuff today I didn't even know about. So I'm pretty happy. I've, I've actually learned something on my videos. So uh, that's fantastic. So That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, we'll have you on again next time. Find some more problems and call me back, okay? Sounds good. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon.